not one, not two, but four RTX 4090s. What does that mean for performance? Get comfortable, because you're about to find out. Hello YouTube, Joseph Mundy here, sales manager for AVA Direct Custom Computers and a leading system integrator of true custom solutions. Now, a lot of our competitors will say that they're also a custom PC builder, but can they really claim to be if they don't build systems like this? I mean, can they say that they offer the wealth of options that we do and still call themselves a custom built PC system integrator? I don't think so. And you're gonna find out why we've made a name for ourselves and why we are a true custom system builder after you get a closer look at this gargantuan beauty right here. This houses four RTX 4090s. That is an incredible amount of horsepower. If you had a system like this, what do you think you would use it for? Make no mistake, this is 100% an investment-like system. This is a system that if you were a company that would render video or render 3D animation, perhaps, this is something that you would invest in and would allow you to churn out more results at a faster pace, make more money, and thus grow your business. That's why when a lot of people see price points for these systems, it's a huge turnoff and I understand, but this is very much a system you would build as a business and not as a consumer. Let's get deeper into the specifications. So this system is housed by an ASUS WRX80 Sage board. It's the SE model. It's the only model they make for WRX80 motherboards. And it is one of the premium top dollar Threader for Pro boards that you can get to date. It's got a total of 256 gigabytes of DDR4 Kingston memory. It's clocked at 3,200 megahertz. As you can see, We've occupied all eight DIMM slots on this board. That gives it maximum bandwidth capability for high-end performance. If you're doing anything memory related, that's the way you want to do it. You want to max out all the DIMM slots. The processor itself, which you can see is under this EKWB water block, four thread ripper CPU specifically, is the 5995WX64 core processor. No slouch at all. It will handle practically anything you have to throw at it. Otherwise, you're gonna to wanna to consider a dual socket board, which that's a separate video for an entirely different day. Now, this whole system with all four RTX 4090 cards is housed in the Thermaltake W200 case. It's a very particular case, and the reason why we opted to use this case in a build like this is because it's technically designed to house two PCs. So, given that the power requirements for an RTX 4090 is substantial, under max load, you could push as much as 550 watts in extreme conditions, we're using actually two power supplies and we wired in parallel. So we have one power supply that's powering everything you see here. And then on the other side, uh, to which Brooke was kind enough to take proper B-roll of, we'll show you everything that the second power supply is powering, which is the remainder of the two out of four RTX 4090 graphics cards and the liquid cooling hardware to boot. As far as storage goes, we have some Western Digital Black SN850 NVMe PCI Express 4.0 M.2 SSDs. I believe they are quoted at one terabyte and four terabyte for this customer's particular use. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you'd want a system like this for rendering, and I believe this particular client is, is not using it for rendering. They're actually using it for a proprietary application that they've developed in-house that requires a significant amount of CUDA cores in order to perform to expectations. So EK hardware all throughout, with the exception of bits power fittings. Now, as you can see, we use softline tubing, uh, not just to keep up with the professional aesthetic, but also for ease of use and ease of maintenance. Anytime we build systems like this for a company as part of a solution, we switch gears and we think less about aesthetic and we think more about functionality and durability and practicality of maintenancing the system in the future. The fact that we use softline tubing is gonna make it very simple to work on in the future, much easier to work on them with hardline tubing. And uh, the point is we wanna make it as simple as possible for them to work on it after the fact. And that is another major difference that AVA Direct has compared to competitors. A lot of competitors will tell you that your warranty is void the moment you open it up and you start messing with things. We have no problems with you doing whatever you want to do with your system. We do provide the disclaimer that if any damages occur in, in the result of you working on your own system, we won't cover it. But I mean, that's common sense. Being as we don't have a limit on the parts that we offer, we also don't want to have a limit on what you do with your own property. Makes sense, right? 
Radiators are also EKWB as well. These are the new radiators from EKWB, the previous radiators that you might have seen in some of our previous videos are end of life. So now they have these new quantum radiators and I think they look pretty sharp. They offer them in white as well in the event you want to match a white build aesthetic. If you don't want to match a white build aesthetic, go with the black and you can't go wrong. Now, you might be wondering with such a substantial case, why we didn't fill out the case with more radiators. Uh, it's a combination of practicality and costs. As you can imagine, four RTX 4090s and a 64 core threader per CPU and the hardware required to provide enough power for all of it doesn't come cheap. And as a company, sometimes you do have a budget to stay within while also focusing on what's most important. And I can assure you, with a temperature of about 65 degrees Celsius across the board for all RTX 4090s, these radiators do more than enough to make sure everything's gonna stay cool under load. It's a total of two 360 millimeter radiators per loop. This build has two loops in it, if I didn't mention that already. So that's a total of four 360 millimeter radiators. The operating system that's going to be managing this system, I guess you could say, is a Windows 11 Pro 4 workstation version. It has to be four workstations, it has to be the Windows 4 workstation. Otherwise, Windows is going to logically see that 64 core Threadripper as two physical 32 core CPUs. That may not matter for everybody, but if you have an application that will only utilize a single CPU or a single socket, it is very important to make sure that you use the Windows 11 version 4 workstation. And the coolant that's used in our liquid cooling loop, by the way, is our own AVA Direct in-house blend. All we do is use distilled water. We'll use dyes if you want it to be a pretty color, and then a blend of anti-corrosion additives to make sure that nothing nasty builds up in your loop while you're running it for months on end. This case scenario, as I said, is it's a proprietary application that this client is using. They didn't really disclose a whole lot of information and that's fine. We're not gonna put pressure on them to do so, but secondary benefits to using a system like this would be rendering. Let's get to the juicy part of the details of rendering because we've been building a lot of these quad RTX 4090 workstations lately, and that led us with a desire to start comparing what kind of performance benefits that you get out of going with a four-way RTX 4090 system versus a one or a two even. So the comparisons we have, they're fairly poor comparisons when it comes to uh, CPU performance because it's, we used Ryzen as an example, but it still scales. I mean, if you're looking at per core, it's still pretty decent in scaling to be fair. Luxmark, which is primary GPU performance, has about 17,000 points for a single GPU, 33,000 points for a dual GPU, and 62,000 points for four GPUs, which to me is absolutely incredible. It is almost a one-to-one -one ratio of scaling for GPU performance, and you really couldn't ask for anything better. Back in the day when Quad SLI was a thing, it was well known to us in the industry that once you go beyond two cards, it's heavily diminished returns. So for example, you might see a score of around 45,000 with Quad SLI back in the day. We are almost seeing a one-to-one -one ratio at 62,000, and that is incredible. Well worth the investment if you have the investment to make. And then of course, you know, there's frame rate per second uh, differences for the CPU and for the GPU, and, and that kind of scales differently for handbrake. Cinebench, which is CPU primarily, You'll see Threadripper does not do great on CPU because it's not its strong suit. But when you look at multi-core, you have 38,000, 37,000 for one GPU versus two GPU. We don't expect that to change, but look at the difference from 16 core to 64 core. 73,000 is nuts for a 5995WX 64 core processor. And then you can look at the Blender classroom differences. That is absolutely insane. And again, better than a one-to-one -one ratio, you are getting your money's worth. For a single GPU, you have two minutes and 15 seconds. For uh, two GPUs, you have two minutes and 14 seconds. And then for the CPU, you have a minute and two. Look at the differences in GPU only as well. You can see the disparity a little bit between a dual GPU and a quad GPU at 4.5 seconds and 4.33. But again, that's GPU only, 
a lot of these renders are rarely ever GPU only or CPU only. The only time a render is GPU only is when it's real time. So if you're animating something in 3D and you wanna see that effect happen as you're working with it in the file, um, you can preview or you can have it render out in front of your eyes. And if you don't have a GPU that's capable of keeping up, there will be wait times in between you seeing that. With a system like this, you are very unlikely to see that happen. The renders will happen in front of you as you're working on it. So you can get a feel for how that animation change is going to affect your overall animation. And sometimes that's very important. So you're not waiting around for minutes on end just to see if you're making the right call with your animation choices. The final render is what matters the most, and that's where you see that CPU render number. So you're going from two minutes and 14 seconds to one minute and two seconds. In theory, that will scale across the board. So if you have a project that will take you 30 minutes with two, with two GPUs, it'll take you 15 minutes with four. And that's substantial. Imagine that you're working on a render and it's just one out of like the 15 jobs that you have going on and one's gonna take a full day. For you to be able to, to finalize renders is twice as much the capacity, or maybe you're working on renders that, you know, take eight hours. So now you can drop that down to four, and now you're doing almost three times the amount of work per day. Like if you have a backlog of stuff and it all boils down to your final render, a machine like this can make all the difference. You could be making way more profitable decisions with your rendering outfit by having a machine like this. And that's why I say it's it's an investment because you're investing in your ability to churn out more results for your clients. And that is when you wanna consider a system like this. Time is always money when you're a business. I don't care how you slice it. And when you can buy time in a machine like this that benefits you over and over again, it pays for itself very quickly. So that's, that's when you'd wanna consider a system like this. And that's when a company like ABA Direct can step in. We can make that possible for you and we can help to make sure that your investment is a wise one. Or maybe you already know exactly what you want and you just need help with us making it happen. That's what we're here for. So let's talk about some of the best features of this build. As you see, it's very clean. Do our best to make builds look as clean as possible, not only to make you know maintenance and such much easier, but also makes it easier to keep it clean too. Best features I like about it is the fact that it's got an all black aesthetic to it. Even the tubes are black. That tends to kind of add to the overall blackout build look. If you do clear tubes, they tend to get cloudy over time as well, which will kind of take away from how great a system can look when you have a custom loop in it. So um, I also really enjoy the fact that there's just tons of room in this case. If they ever want to add anything or they want to tweak, or maybe they want to get crazy, and the next generation of graphics cards come out and they have a whole other level of heating requirements behind it. Now they can throw in radiators that are gonna be larger if they want, or they can add more. You can shift some of these radiators around and you could add more 360 millimeter radiators if you wanted to. I really can't think of any cons other than maybe the fact that I wish cards weren't bundled with these adapters and they did kind of single corded cables as opposed to this kind of three-way breakout. NVIDIA or ASUS or really any graphics card manufacturer easily could have made this adapter, you know, a single gauge, maybe like six gauge, right? And a single cable that went out about a foot to at least make this look more aesthetically pleasing. But that's not really the fault of, of us or the individual or company that purchased the system. That's really the only caveat I can think of. This case does have an option for wheels, by the way. So if you want to make the system a little bit more mobile, you could have bought wheels with it. I'm pretty sure this system is going to be purchased in the same spot until the end of time, though. So we'll ship it on a pallet. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. And then the system was purchased with our top tier five year parts lifetime labor warranty, which includes advanced replacement part options. So if anything fails and you don't want to have to send that part in first in order to get your replacement, this warranty will cover the process of sending you out a replacement first, you receive the replacement, then you ship us out the defective part. Really important to consider when you're a business. I'm really proud that the company that I worked with thought about that aspect of the purchase before I had to say anything because the last thing you want is downtime when you're using a system like this that you are centralizing your business productivity around. Super smart. Skew of the system will be listed in the description of this video below as well as a link to buy 
this either identical system or a similar system. If you don't see the options that you want for this build within that configurator, please reach out to us and let us know. It will take us no time at all to be able to modify that configuration to your liking or to your budget, and we'll make it happen for you. Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me ramble on about this monster. Again, you can buy your own by clicking on the link in the description below. Do make sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can get notified of future builds and videos that feature builds like this. And let us know in the comments if you had a system like this, what would you intend to use it for? Or if you had the opportunity to build a system of your dreams like this, what would you change about it? Maybe you would want hardline tubing because you figure you're already investing this much. Why not make it look pretty? Because there are those of you out there just like me. Thanks again, everybody, and you have a great day. PC in the video, be sure to contact our sales team by emailing sales at aviadrock.com or head to the website by clicking the link within the description below. You can choose from many pre-built options, gaming or workstation based, or use the configurator to build the PC of your dreams. Don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can be notified of future content and give the video a like in support of our channel. You can follow the variety of our social media channels by visiting aviadirect.com forward slash community and you can also join our Discord if you wish to engage in discussions related to custom-built PCs.